All right, so we got a service call. Got water leaking out from underneath the frozen food cases. And as you can see, there's water right there also. So we got to figure out what's going on. They have floor drains under here. Sometimes they do back up, but um, I don't think this the we'll cause. Just head up to the roof right fast and um, see what we come up All with. Right, so AC2, the rear AC showing none. Uh, let's hit F1. All right. AC2 rear sales floor off on Fansville. The front AC 77 degrees, pretty high. Uh oh, look like my enter button. So somebody locked on both stages of cooling. There. It look like we may have an issue on that unit also. Um, see, check our board, see if our board is online. Menu 771. So all of our boards are green. Everything's online. Check our alarm history. AC2 rear sales floor unit. Fan out proof failure. It's probably a Daikin or a McQuay unit. One of the two. This was the unit that had the stages override on. Look at that. Neither stage is running. Not one compressor is running on this unit and it's overwrite. It's overwritten on. That's not running. Look at that, how close that is. That's really close. It's not leaking, but that's close. And that came from the factory like that, most likely. That's like a skid, that's how they come. All right, let's just check our other unit right down here. The blower is running here, but this is the one that's off on fan fail. All right, so here's our unit. Uh, we don't have no LEDs, anything lit up. Uh, no fuses. I don't think it's pretty much as a, what is this, disconnect switch. Let me go ahead and uh, hook this door. Good thing. I was paying attention. So, so far, like I said, don't look like I'm getting any power. Uh, let me go find the main breaker. All right, so I'm over at the breaker panel and uh, here's AC2. And um, basically this circuit breaker right here was tripped. It was kind of sitting in the middle and um, I just pushed it off so I can reset it. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn this on. I'm back over at the unit. Oh, uh, my disconnect is still off here. My phase one is not lit up. Just trying to look at everything before I kind of turn on this disconnect. Trying to see if I could find something. Something that maybe caused this to blow up. Trip the circuit breaker. So our fan motor right here. It's a big fan. Um, let me just look at that belt. It needs to be replaced. Um, that needs to be replaced. So we got two belts here that needs to be replaced. This is a B90. So, well, we got two belts here, so. All right, so I got the belts off. Um, shout out to HVAC Vlogger. Um, that little method, I kind of seen him do that on one of his videos a couple months ago. Nice and secure. Um... Let's get back to troubleshooting, man. Let's see what's up while we blew the breaker. So it looked like they got two bad condenser fans. And um, what is this? We got something pretty going on over here. Look at that. That wire there is pretty much broken. Look at that. That's broken. It's even got so hot. Look at the wires in the back. They'll burn. It's uh, my control voltage burn. Let me see. Yeah, that white one right there is my control voltage. It didn't touch the wires, but it kind of heated up the the outer shell of the insulation. So, uh, oh, like we had bad compressor or something. Um, what is that? 
110 coil, three pole. What is the amperage? Probably like a 60 amp contactor. So, here's why we're blowing the fuse. Now, I wonder if my compressor is good. Um, what is that? Control voltage. So, here's our control voltage switch and our pump down solenoid switch. So, we're just going to kill the power for control one and three. This should be stage one right there. Should be stage one, three, two, and four. Should be. So, um, two fan motors got wire burnt. Hopefully, we don't have a bad so compressor. I just took the cover off that contactor. Normally, it looks like this one. And uh, look at that. The two shiny ones right here. Then that one's all charred up. The contacts, everything. It's pretty bad. Uh, this here is going out to my compressor. I'm just going to ohm out those three legs right here. I can also take them off and go at the compressor if needed. I'm just going to do a quick check right, right here. So I just went through um, on the compressors when I'm getting 1.8 1.8 so the resistance looked pretty good. Um, normally when you're checking three phase motors or compressors normally all three winders are always the same uh, within a few points um, if they're off you know 1.8 and the other ones at 4.4 um, could have a bad winders in that compressor but so far this one looks pretty good I also check from um, ground to each one I didn't pick up anything all right, so this is um, stage one. So everything looks good here, all my wiring connections. But I still need to probably start this up. Could have locked rotor amps, anything. All right, so here's my new contactor right here. It's a Mars contactor, 7080, 110, 60 amps. All right, so I just installed my new contactor, repaired all the wires, and um, put everything back. When I checked it, it wasn't grounded. I didn't pick up any resistance to ground. The wine is checked out okay. Um, maybe um, loose terminals or something. Maybe, you know, they didn't tighten them up pretty tight. Um, the contactors don't look too old, but it don't look too new. Um, maybe that was the issue. But um, first, we're just going to start off by replacing that contact to start it up. Hopefully, there's no other issues. If it is, we'll go from there. We know that we already got two bad fan motors. Right, so I got all my control circuits to off. All right, my boards, there I go. My blower just kicked in. Phase monitor's lighting up. Now it's solid, so that is closed. We also, I think we got motor protectors phase monitors over there also right, let's just go ahead and turn stage one on contact the engage um maybe we got a blown fuse for the compressor hopefully we didn't burn up any wires here because then um we would need to pull a new wire so Stage one is these big fuses over here. I know I'm not gonna have these fuses. These are FRS R40 amp fuses. All right, so I just got my meter on volts and uh, we're gonna check out these fuses. Uh, it's kind of hard to do it, but uh, 280 volt. So this is a 460 volt store, 480. All right, so that fuse is open, and this fuse is open. So we got three open. All right, so I'm gonna just leave my tool bag right there, right fast. I'm gonna go ahead and um, see if I can locate these fuse. Also, um, by it being a 480 volt store, that explains why the main um, circuit breaker tripped over there at the main panel. Normally, these fuse would just blow if this was like a 208 store. 
But since it's 480 volts, normally when you get like a short, sometimes it'll bang the, the main breaker. And sometimes you can even throw off like, you know, the whole building. Like, so with 480 volt stores, always be careful resetting the circuit breaker if you find the breaker trip. All right, so I got my fuse in. I got everything open up over there. Probably gonna put my uh, amp probe on and um, see what we draw. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, flip this on. And we'll give it a few minutes. Uh-oh. I came on instantly. Check our amps. Where's my meter? So if she's running, we gotta wait for the other stages to come on. No sight glass, sight glass on the other side. Looks clear. Yeah, look at that, turned off already. Why did we shut off? Uh, you know what? I think it might be running backwards. Let me, uh, it don't sound weird, but I can hear a little bit of sound in the background. I kind of overlook that sound. I mean, I can hear it, but normally they make louder noise than what it is. So let's just flip a, a wire at the contactor. All right, so we're gonna move this wire. And we're gonna move that one. And all we're doing is just swapping the wires over, put them to the other side. And um, I'll go ahead and tighten them up. And we'll restart it. And we'll see if we get any change in pressure. But my M draw wasn't low or anything. Normally, like if it's not pumping or whatever, you get a low M draw around 10 amps. Um, but in this case, my amps was like 26 amps. But uh, I just want to reverse it just to see. All right, so I just switched the wires and we're still sitting at 143 over 196. This unit has gas in it. So let's just restart this baby up, see what happens. This thing normally starts up pretty quick. All right, so that is better. So we were running backwards. It was overheating going off on overload. All I did was just swap those two wires. And as you can see, our pressure's starting to even out. It's funny though, I kind of heard that noise, but it wasn't loud. It was like very, very low. If I would have had in um, like earplugs or anything like that, headphones, I probably would not have heard it. And, um, and if I was newer, I probably would have condemned this right, compressor. So I'm, I'm pretty much comfortable with what I see. Got this back up and running. We got two fan motors out here. And got that unit up there that's not even running. Not one compressor is running. Um, I just called the shop on that. They got parts on order. They got parts at the warehouse. So I'm not really going to jump into that one today. But, um got the unit back up and running and um, 
let it run for a while. See how everything goes. It's a pretty good, interesting call. Just wanted to bring you guys along.